Hello friends, welcome to the session of Quality of India. Myself, Arun Vishwakarma, and in this program, we are going to learn about uh, two key terms and their differences. That is verification and validation. Friends, when we talk about verification and validation, both are having independent procedure. Both are important part of quality management system, and in fact, uh, customers are uh, requiring both verification and validation to be done for the products and for the services. Uh, and uh, they are very much critical for the success of the organization and also for the uh, getting customer satisfaction. So verification and validation both are used for checking that the product or services or system that not only meets the customer requirements but also meets the specification and the intended purpose for which the product and services has been designed and developed. So now let's proceed further and understand first the definition of verification. As far as ISO 9000 2015 is concerned, it's a standard for fundamentals and vocabulary and it provides uh, terms and definition of uh, almost all critical elements which pertain to quality management system. So as per the standard, the definition for verification is confirmation through the provision of objective evidence that specified requirements have been fulfilled. So here it talks about Fulfillment of some specific requirement, for an example, the customer is asking for certain dimension, certain specification, which might be having some tolerance. So if you are going to fulfill all those requirements and the means you have used to fulfill those requirements would be called verification. And to fulfill the requirement, you might be conducting some inspection or you might be doing some qualification process. So this would be part of verification program and the word verified that basically correspond to the status after verification. So generally you must have seen that product are stamped as verified which means that verification has been done or some sort of uh, processing or inspection has been completed as per some guidelines, standards or document. Now let's talk about validation. So the definition of validation is confirmation through the provision of objective evidence that specified requirements for a specific intended use or application have been fulfilled. So if you look at the requirement of verification and validation, you can see the difference. Here in validation, it talks about application, which means that actual use of the uh, product or services that has been fulfilled. That means we need to have some mechanism of validating if the product or service is going to fulfill those requirements and that can be done through some testing. Now let's understand difference between verification and validation with some uh, elaborative examples and here we are going to have uh, six key differences between verification and validation. So the first one is if we talk about uh, the definition of uh, verification, it uh, broadly talks about uh, static practice, verifying documents, design code and program. So if it is uh, about the manufacturing process, then uh, we generally verify the product with uh, reference to some standard, some SOP, work instruction, control plan and we check the dimension or we measure the features to check if that is fulfilling the customer's requirement or the design requirement or not. That will be verification. On the other hand, if we talk about validation, here the fulfillment is done through some fitment and functional trial. That means whether the actual applicability of the product or services meets the customer's requirement or not that needs to be verified and that cannot be checked by dimension. So we need to uh, use the product in actual scenario to do some sort of testings. Okay. So that will be validation. And the second difference is verification uses methods like inspection, reviews, walkthroughs and dex checking, etc. So here we are talking about uh, method of uh, cross verifying or verifying how the things are okay or not okay. So the methodology used over here would be either inspection or review. This is sort of documentary activities or with some instrument you check the dimensions. Okay. So that will be verification. But when we talk about validation, it could be done through some testings, performance testings like uh, destructive testing we can do, non-destructive testing we can do. So here we are actually using the product to the applicability. So the product is used in the real scenario, how that is going to behave. So some sort of testing we need to perform over here. So here broadly inspection, here we are doing testing. And the third difference is here we are checking 
if the product or services conform to specification. So the conformance to specification is done over here. Whereas here we are checking if the product or service meets the customer expectation and requirement. So for checking whether that meets the customer's expectation and requirement, we do testing. And for here, cross verifying for specification, we do inspection. And the four difference over here is when we talk about verification, this is called as a low level exercise. Whereas validation is always regarded as a high level exercise and certain things which we can catch in verification that cannot be identified in validation and it is vice versa also. For an example, if we verify uh, the dimensional properties that cannot be judged in validation. In same way, when we do some structural testing in validation, validation does not cross verify the dimensional property. So both has their own merits and demerits also. And when we talk about the uh, responsibilities of conducting verification and validation, in a broader term, we can say that uh, quality assurance team, they are basically responsible for uh, verification of the product and services as per the specification. And when we talk about validation, this goes through generally the testing team. And certain cases, uh, it is quality assurance team only, but there are separate functions who are responsible for conducting the testings. And in certain cases, it is under labs or uh, some sort of uh, uh, testing uh, department who are exclusively responsible for validation activities. But that might be under quality assurance only. It depends upon the maturity and the size of the organization. So generally, uh, validation comes afterwards. That means first we do verification, then comes the validation. So this is the first stage that is verification and validation is the uh, subsequent stage. Now let's talk about certain possibilities of verification and validation. Uh, we have understood the differences between both of them. So there are possibilities uh, always prevails in uh, both the thing that is uh, product and services. Certain things might uh, pass through the verification activities and uh, it might fail in validation and that could be vice versa also. For an example, there is a product and you verify the product for dimensions and it pass through the dimensional properties. But when you subject the product to some testing, for an example, structural testing or some endurance testing that fails and it could be other way around also. Now let's take a couple of examples to understand uh, verification and validation in more details. So the first example is for a gear manufacturer. If a gear manufacturer verifies the dimensional properties or metallurgical properties of a part or gear, then we can say he is doing verification. When we subject the gear to the actual condition, which means that gear is assembled in gearbox and we use the gearbox in the vehicle or it is subject to the actual testing, then we will be calling it as a validation. And the second example is of a cert. If you verify the dimensional property of a cert, for an example, how much is this length? How much is this width? If this kind of element is done or inspection is done, that would be under verification. But when you start using the cert or you wear the cert, you check the comfortness, you check the fitting. So those would be validation. Friends, sometimes it is being said that we can express both validation and verification in this way. Uh, for an example, if you say, are you building the right things? We mean validation. And when we say, are you building it right? That will be verification. That means if I am building it right properly, then I would be saying I am verifying or I have verified. And if I am doing the right thing, then I can say that I am validating. So when we talk about building the right thing, which basically refers back to the user's needs. And when we talk about uh, building it right, this basically checking against the specification. So I hope friends with this module, you must have learned about uh, verification and validation. What are the differences? If you've learned something, don't forget to like the video and share the link of the video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn and they can also grow in their career. And don't forget to explore our online training come certification program. Do visit our website www.qualityabina.com and www.rn295.com. We also provide consultancy and project management services. If you wish to explore our services, don't forget to contact us at our mail ID or you can directly reach to us on the displayed number. Take care friends. Jai Hind.